I know he said, oh, well, I'll go to the other. I thought, I'm upset. For some reason, I thought, oh, that's open. Does it say whose rooms? It does. B Rose. K. Rush Beard. All right, let's just go into Crane. I I was I was sure Blue Beard was going to the office regardless of what we chose, but I guess I was wrong. Is bust of himself. Damn it! Must have missed him. There's got to be something about his witch here. Okay. I had a distraction on my phone. Now I move around. Now I look at the wine cabinet. Same brand we found in the open arms. There's a message. Teach in the old days. Great. All right. Everybody can stay upright. In the meantime, leave the light on, pal. See ya. The statue of the headless horseman. Why? Hmm. Like you should hate the horseman, right? My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. Watching you work, if I am unable to control myself, it's because I love you. What? That's so creepy. That's so creepy and messed up. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? What is he... <laughs> yep. Oh, look, a key. And I can't wait to give this money to another working girl. <laughs> Cannot wait. I've given all my money to people who need it. I'm Math, such a good guy. Science, history. Gave, I gave all my actual I money to... This shit didn't work. I gave all my actual money to, to Joy. I mean, Faith. Why is it Joy? If I gave all my money to Faith. And I stole Tweedledee's money and gave it to Narissa. And I'm stealing Crane's money. I gotta give it to somebody. Guess things have changed. And then I tried to pay for my drink at Holly's place and I couldn't. Because I gave all my money to Faith. Something else somewhere, right? I oh yeah. Really? <laughs> so I was saying, like, who puts a bust of themselves in their room? Or in their house in general. Jack? Wow. It is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the Good thing I didn't say anything when I it gave me an option to talk when I was at the front door. Weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But you know, some people like that sort of thing. Don't play dumb. I'm running very low on patience tonight. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. 
So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done, I don't see any plants. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? You got me. Just take it easy. I don't like being lied to. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. Why? You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? Have you heard anything about a witch? In connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring? What are you getting at? I need info, Jack. What else do you want me to say? So be nimble and quick and tell me the info. I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Did somebody send you and tell the truth? No, it's just me. Just take it easy. <sighs> you know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm investigating. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh, squeeze through. You're lucky I don't break your neck. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. What do you mean? You're looking for Crane's witch, right? Look, I'm not stupid. Big B Wolf comes in here asking about witches in Crane's apartment. I'm not a mathematician, but I know two plus two is five, am I right? I can tell you who she is. If you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. How convenient. Convenient for you, Sheriff. I got the info you need. This is an easy win. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Mm. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Come on. I don't make deals with thieves, Jack. Bro, I know you're making all this shit up just to get out of trouble. Give me a little I say that, but I'm, de I'm definitely a thief myself. I've stolen money from two separate I, people now. How about I tell you so you know I'm good for it? Then you can reconsider my offer, okay? Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's not going to the 13th floor, it's got to be something illegal. I hope you're not lying to me, Jack. Scout's on her, Sheriff. <laughs> The thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You've got to be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? It's I mean, better than nothing, I guess. That's what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. Well, uh, I think you've got plenty to keep you busy. I so didn't I promise... Of... <sighs> I didn't promise to... Lovely. Running into you. To ignore him being here. A second. Oh, come on. But I'm also not saying no. If he's helpful, we'll see. The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? Yes, actually. I love talking to myself. Which it's my favorite. White deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark. Well, I'm taking this. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. No, I'm Lucky taking pawn. it. It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. That wasn't convincing. Give them to me. What? You know what. Hand them over. That it? Pick me? Are you still here? Just keep your mouth shut, all right? You're the boss. Who are you talking to? Myself. What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening, 
What's going on? He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable. Town. And I took the money. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleaze ball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find them. I think it's connected. Maybe the girls found out about it. I don't know. Mm, maybe. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. Yeah, we really don't. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Um. I'll go to the trip trap. See about Lily's. Yeah, we're not. I don't want to be anywhere near Bluebeard. I mean, we should really. Sounds good. We I'll should really not leave Bluebeard unsupervised. Happens. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Leaving Bluebeard unsupervised is stupid. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. But, if they haven't burned Lily's things yet, I genuinely think that's probably the best bet to get the info we need. <laughs> Closed. Guys, it's me, Bigby. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. <laughs> He's full gone. Well, come on in. That's me at the end of a cuphead session right there. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah. I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? No. Grant, really, you shouldn't drink right now. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Um, is that stuff supposed to be here, or...? Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now. It gives you a very, very, very nice high. Explains why you're so nice right now. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. <laughs> There's no way to wake her up. Oh, uh, no. And anyways, the doctor gave me strict orders to let the fine woman sleep. She's had a very traumatic experience. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there help things much. I'm sorry. Man, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. Hmm. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. 
We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. Yeah, fun. A just show of good faith. Just take a shot with the man, Bigby. Hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Friend, Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. To the dead. All right, now help me. Bren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it? Two. Huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back. I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. Okay. <clears throat> What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. Oh. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick oh. after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. <laughs> I didn't know nothing about that. No, didn't even have to bring that up, my guy. Out, and you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh, yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. I think whatever happened was between them, and Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gray. Woodsman's kind of had it a bit rough. And Gren's been very antagonistic every single time he's been in a scene. So let's just, Gren. uh, not care what I he says. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? Face plan on the desk. Day. Oh, I thought he was fully gonna. Gren won't remember this! I thought he was gonna full face plan on the, on the counter. Okay, I'm going to take a quick, I'm going to pause real quick, because I had a package delivered, and I'm going to make sure it's not sitting out on the porch in the cold. All right, I am back. Got my package. It is no longer sitting in the cold. Is it just supposed to be like out cold? Oh, it's under the bed.
Heck yeah. Do what you want. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm trying to do... I'm trying to do the right thing. I'm trying to help as much as I can. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high-rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. You may not believe this, but... Yeah. I care about everyone who came over. I don't know about that. I share my apartment with one of the little pigs. You're friends with your friends, and we ain't friends. Tweedle in the background of that. Got the newsboy cap, so that's Tweedle Dom. Tweedle D has Why the, you the even other head. Come here. There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. I came to say I was sorry, Holly, for the funeral and everything that's happened. No, you didn't. But I am sorry. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? Crane. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? Because I hate Crane. I'll take any excuse to get Crane. This just happens to be a good one. Oh, at least you're honest. You just remember, whatever bullshit excuse you tell yourself, I'm counting on you. So don't have any more fuck-ups. I'll try my best. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Anti-Greenleaf. Gotcha. You think you got him. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Crane's meeting her in a few minutes. I told you not to worry. Right. Listen, we have to hurry. I'll meet you down there. All right, I'll see you there. 